Hi, welcome to Crafty Little Things. I'm Andrea, and today I just want to share with you a little gift I got from um, a fellow crafter online. Um, it's just such a kind little gesture. It's from Martha. I hope she doesn't mind saying her name. And she sent me this beautiful card and some little gifts in it. Um, I had sent Martha some um, stamping up butterfly cutouts um, and a couple of other little bits and bobs that I had um, stamping up things that I gifted to her that I had duplicates of and things. Um, so, um, yeah, so in return she sent me this, although... Funnily enough, what I've sent her, she hasn't received yet. I don't have much success with um, sending things overseas. I sent um, a gift to, um, a, it was a giveaway that I did to, to a lady in Canada. And she never received it, so I sent it again. And I got a message back from the courier saying, even though I sent it through all the proper channels and everything from the post office here, got a message back from the courier saying that, the recipient had refused to pay taxes or something and they wanted me to pay £68 otherwise they were just going to destroy it that you know or return it if I paid the £68 and I thought well that gift ended up costing me over 100 quid because I did it twice and sent anyway it was a nightmare it was about £17 to send it in the first place um so I kind of decided I wouldn't send parcels especially overseas anymore I can see why people don't do it um and then uh but cards and things aren't, aren't such a bad thing but I sent some inches and as far as I'm aware they haven't arrived and I've also sent the butterflies and stuff um which have come back to me once because there was an error on the address which was either my error or just an error in processing uh, it was a wrong number um, and I've sent them back again so hopefully Martha will get those very soon um, we have lots of issues at my post office lots of things I don't receive that are sent to me um, lots goes missing I'm not quite sure why anyway so she sent me this lovely card with a note inside which I won't read but she also sent me these lovely dies and I've just tried to tried them out I mean I have read the note <laughs> for myself um, and I've tried these dies out quick, just quickly just on some scraps she sent me this set of emoji dies which are quite cute there's a smiley face there's a frown there's a few different ones and they're quite cute they come out let me just put a black background down so you can see better they're quite cute they'd make good inches actually wouldn't they for a card or I don't know if I, I didn't didn't die cut them all but I cut a few of them so yeah they're quite cute I like those can you see them let me just zoom in on those you can't really see I don't know if you can see where the images are just slashed out rather than fully cut out so they're really cute so I love those, I definitely use those. Um, and there's a set of, I think there's six in there. Might be five or six, five or six. So that's a lovely pack. Then she also sent me this lovely, um, I've doubled them, I haven't, me being me, I haven't put them back where they should be. She sent me this lovely, you can see I've just done it because it's still got bits of paper in it. Lovely fairy die which is really beautiful look at that against the black that's gorgeous and to be honest with you I haven't got any fairies I've never been really a fairy person but um there have been a couple of projects where I thought oh I could have used a fairy die for that so I'm really pleased with that um really grateful for that so that's that one that she sent me quite intricate as well be great for lanterns and things and then she sent me this one which is happy easter the words and when i cut that out it comes out in two pieces so you get the happy so you could use that with anything 
and then the Easter. I've just cut it out of a piece of tempting turquoise here. But that's lovely. Look how intricate that is as well. It came out really nicely. There's just a little piece there that needs poking through. But yeah, that's lovely. Gorgeous on a card. And like I say, the happy, you could use that with anything really. So that's that one. And then she sent me... I just want to pop them back away because I know what I'm like for leaving things out. And then she sent me this lovely detailed butterfly die. And it comes in two pieces. So that would be good for making like windows in cards or boxes. And then it's got the really intricate butterfly inside of it so they just sit together so you don't have to use the two pieces together but they do sit together and I just used um, a piece of scrap paper to cut that out so there's the butterfly that's nice there's the butterfly die so it's in two pieces so you can use them separately or together you could use just the out, outline for something out for making window boxes or something, or just to get a butterfly and outline. Not for window boxes, just to create windows in boxes. That's the outline if you just cut it by itself. And then that's the lovely intricate butterfly. That's really delicate and detailed. I just did that with a big shot with normal plates, and it came out beautifully really elaborate um, then she also sent me this set and I'd seen these um, myself on something on a site um, a set of bow dies and these are really good um, this this is sort of the backing of your bow and this is the actual bow itself so when you cut this piece out, you fold it over, bend it over and just glue it in the middle, stick it to this piece and then take this sort of tail piece and wrap it around to make a bow. And there's three different sizes here and I made the middle size bow. And as you can see, they're really cute. I'll zoom in again. They're really cute. Um, and like I said, you... You take this part, sorry this is the large bow, you take this part and you wrap it around and it goes to a really really tiny diddy one so it'd be great for scrapbooking bows and things. That's the smallest one and then there's the middle one, the middle size one. So yeah it'll be lovely for making bows for scrapbooks and cards and boxes and stuff. So, yeah, so I'm really, really grateful for those gifts. Um, I've never done, like, a sort of a gift swap before. Um, I've done a, well, like a, a craft stash swap before. I've done, a, I've done swaps for cards and things like that, but I've not done um, one for actual crafting goodies. So that was fun. Um, and unexpected as well because I just offered to send Martha some butterflies because she liked the butterflies I'd used in a project and um, couldn't get the dye so I said I'd, I'd send it to her um, and then she in return sent me all this but like I said in return um, she hasn't received hers yet so hopefully she'll receive them soon so yeah, thank you for watching. It's nice to little swap little bits and bobs, especially from different countries, because in some countries you can get things more readily than others. And, you know, so it's nice to help people to build their stash or to get something they can't get in their country or that's really expensive in their country. It might be cheaper in yours. But do watch that postal issue because you can come a cropper with that. OK, so be careful and... Um, Enjoy what you do and share what you do. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.